Anubis is one of the most insane pals you can get in Pal World, but unfortunately it comes pretty late into the game. It's a level 47 and quite difficult boss you can find on this side of the map, however you can get it much much earlier than that. In fact I'm gonna show you a few ways to get it way before level 30 or even 25 with a few breeding combinations. Plus, currently, there's an amazing way in which you can get literally any of the tower bosses in your Pokeballs and essentially use them, as well as their companions, at your side in combat. So let's jump right in. Now, the first farming method is going to involve farming a bunch of lower level bosses. However, this can only be done each hour. So in game hour, you're going to have to wait in between each fight before the boss arenas respawn. So for this combination, we're going to use a Pan King as well as a Bushy. So you will find the Pan King right here on this side of the map, very close to the sealed realm of the Frozen Wings. It's only a level 15 and it's very easy to defeat. I already covered it in a previous video, so you can totally go ahead and check it out. Meanwhile, the Bushy can be found in a similar arena, but this time around a little bit further west, close to the sealed realm of the Swordmaster. You're going to find it in its own arena and this is a level 23 fight. As always, it's very important for the parents to have some really good passive skills, so get anything like Ferocious, Vicious, anything that gives attack damage, or even Burly Body if you want it with a bit more defenses. However, in this case, Runner and Swift can also work really well, it makes yeah, the character very, very fast. But in this case, I tested it with a male Pan King as well as a female Bushi, and lo and behold, it actually did give me a large Rocky Egg. So when we go ahead and open this up, yes, it absolutely is an Anubis. Now, other people online, after doing a bit of research, seem to have gotten the same result when the genders were switched. So when going with a female Panking and a male Bushi instead, they still got an Anubis. So I'm like 99.999% sure you're always going to get an Anubis out of these two right here, no matter what. But let's keep on going and there are other combinations in case you want them or if you want another step up as well as a very cool pal to have. So this will involve a three step sort of guide in which you will first have to breed a certain low level combination, get a high level 45 mini boss and then combine that mini boss with another lower level a pal and then get another Anubis. So in this case, you will get the Yormuntide if you combine Quivern and Relaxosaurus. So these two are actually very easy to find in the case of the Relaxosaurus. You can find it right here on this side of the map. I found that very close to this waypoint, there are plenty of them. All you have to do is to just search around and again, if you can, try to change your world settings and just increase their spawn rate by three times. Usually I found this to be extremely, extremely helpful. Meanwhile, for the Quivern, there's a level 23 boss arena you can get right here at the sealed realm of the Winged Tyrant. It's very far from your starting location, northwest of it actually, and also close to the Anubis spawn, but um, honestly, it's not going to take too long to reach there with proper mounts, and the boss fight is going to be a bit more difficult, but it's absolutely worth it if you can get it with some proper stats. So like I said, I've done a bunch of these combinations right here, and in total I got about like 10 Jormuntides, so the genders on these don't really matter. I did different combinations and Jormuntide always came out. Of course, in this case, I was lucky to have a Burly Body and Ferocious transferred to one of them, and I believe I even have one that has Hooligan, which eventually made this the main one that I would be using as one of the partners for the Anubis to transfer these to the Anubis. So from this point on, what you have to do to craft the Anubis is to combine the Jormuntide and then place a Kitsun next to it. So for the Kitsun, you're going to have to head over right here, very much up north. It's going to be close to one of these towers in the area where there's also a boss fight, so Tower of the Free Pal Alliance, but um, there are a bunch of Kitsun here that will just spawn during the night time. If you go during the day, it's only going to be a bunch of foxicles but um, yeah this is what's going to be needed to craft another set of anubis in case you want it with this level and in my personal opinion this was the one that also provided the best results that's because the boss quiver usually has a pretty good chance to spawn with good stats on it anyway plus relaxosaurus are very abundant so Creating a very powerful Jormuntide does not take that much. Meanwhile, for the Bushi and the Pan King, for example, you do need to wait every hour, so it's going to be quite difficult. 
The final way that I also found was by combining a Bronchary with a Mammal Rest. Now, these are going to be a bit higher level because the Mammal Rest is about level 35 to 37. However, you can find them in the starting area. And actually, many times you can encounter two or they can just fight with other creatures in the environment, which means you can snatch them at low HP values once somebody else deals damage for you, in case you don't have the damage just yet. At least one of them I captured that way, but it was completely random. So yeah, you do have to search for a little bit or just level up. And then combine it with a Bronchary. So Bronchary's are something that you also find very close to the starting area, specifically right here into the entrance of this valley at the ravine entrance, basically. So quite a lot of them spawning all around, circling here will eventually bring you to many, many packs. But in this case, I'm not exactly sure how it's even possible to get a rocky egg out of two nature creatures. However, I guess that's just the way the game wants it to be. And this is pretty much it, how you get it. I got like eight of them so far from farming, but obviously I need a few more before I can get the proper passive skills transferred to the proper offsprings. But um, yeah, I'm still breeding these like mad. So the creature has a ton of very strong earth-like abilities. They are absolutely amazing. It also moves very fast by default. So you're going to absolutely love the way this creature fights in combat for you. Now there's one final thing that I want to talk about in this video since we're on the subject of bosses of sorts. You can actually capture all of the bosses from the towers in the game by doing a small little trick which involves getting a wanted level, then going into the arena, have the boss being attacked by the incoming forces and then throw any pal sphere at them and you will have a 100% chance to capture them. So this can work with literally any sort of way to increase your wanted level. You can do it at a small settlement or any other settlement that has any of these guards. And once you do that, immediately go ahead and transfer it to one of these towers and start the boss fight. From this point on, you will notice that on top of the boss, it's not just it that spawned in the arena, but you also get some of those invading forces. They will actually follow you everywhere so in this case just hang around a little bit maybe aggro them and try to make them shoot the boss so that they fight each other once you see the boss getting damaged don't wait for too long just throw a sphere at it and even though it says zero percent chance to catch it you're going to absolutely catch it on your first try and lo and behold now you have both the handler slash trainer plus the creature itself I'm not going to lie, it feels a bit like cheating doing all of this, but I mean, it's still early stages, so early access, this kind of thing is totally expected. It's very fun nonetheless, I always wanted to have the ability to catch some of these creatures. Technically, some of them you can, and there are some early versions and places in which you can do this. But that is pretty much it with the video, thanks so much for watching. In the meantime, totally check out some of the others I created, like how to get some of the best stats and combine them for each specific creature to get the best possible result, as well as many others, so I'll see you in a bit.